up, y'all? Welcome back. I know it's only been a couple of hours, hopefully. Hopefully you're watching this after watching the other episode. It is 2020. I want to thank you guys um, again for 200 subs. I, I really appreciate it. Also, just a heads up, um, the finale, I'm going to record it tomorrow. I'll edit it, all that shit. But the finale will come out a little i'll set it to premiere a little bit after the cup race like as the cup race starts winding down that way everybody can watch the cup race if they want to i know i want to and then once the cup race is over i'll i'll watch it with you guys and sit here and chat and we can have discussions and i can see the reactions to the awards and stuff but yes we are here in 2020 coming off of a year where i mean another surprising championship winner bobby labonte just getting us ready for the NASCAR Thunder 2000 sim. I joke. I hope. I hope he's not that good. Uh, if he's that good, I might just restart it. <laughs> um, but yeah, Bobby Labonte beats the Daytona Curse, wins the championship. Matt Kenseth won three of the five um, crown jewels. Bobby won the other two. So pretty crazy season. The end, not as it was rather anticlimactic, I'm not gonna lie. So hopefully 2020 with no no vid um, delivers. I hope it does. So make sure if you end up liking the video to like it, subscribe, comment something down below, share it with a friend. Um, let's get to 300 subs. Let's see how fast we can get there. I wanna hit 500 by the end of the year. It's really, end of the year is really my goal. So. Yeah, we'll have to find out some other stuff to do other than simulating these games. I'm sure you guys would love to see me play them again. The uh, Lightning Challenge video actually almost has a 1,000 views. So I am super excited about that. We'll have to do the Lightning Challenges in 04 and 05 and yada, yada, yada. But all that being said, make sure to kick back and relax with a nice cold drink and a snack. And we're going to get in to 2020. Well, howdy, way to, what a way to start the year. Nine tenths of a second, the margin of victory. We only have 41 drivers now. I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, Robbie Gordon, Jerry Nadeau, Shane Hall, all DNF. Jesus Christ. Bobby Labonte goes back to back. Unreal. Um... Unreal. Back-to-back -back Daytona 500 wins dominated the field. Dale Jr., Kevin Harvick, Matt Kenseth, Jimmy Jam, Jimmy Johnson in fifth. Jeff Burton, Ryan Newman, Rick Edwards, Kurt Busch, and Steve Park, your top ten. Killing, killing it in 11th, honestly, in a 22 car. Is it another year Bobby Labonte beating everybody up and then DNFing at the end of the season? I don't know. I have no fucking clue trying to scarf down a pop tart i haven't eaten anything it's i literally recorded the last episode launched right into this one it is nine o'clock in the morning uh 1.8 second margin of victory brian vickers dnfs chad chaffin dnfs hate uh johnny Sauter, jamie mcmurray <coughs> i want to cry i almost just choked on my pop tart dale jr wins Leads 135 laps. That's the bonus points. Tony Stewart, Kevin Harvick, Bobby Labonte, Jeremy Mayfield, your top five. Kenseth, Kurt Busch, Jeff Burton, Tim Sauter, Dan Pardis, your top ten. Ryan Newman just outside in 11th. Oh, boy. Early win for Dale Jr. I'm, I think he's going to hit 100. I really do. There's a good chance he does. Um, Tony Stewart could be a dark horse for the championship. Maybe. I don't know. It's not Talladega, so Sasha Soares cannot win. DNF, Eli Gold, also DNFs. Jeff Burton wins, leads 218 laps. Harvick finishes in second. He's finished second a lot. Huh, I don't know. Kenseth in third. Bobby Labonte, Ryan Newman, your top five. Dale Jr., Tony Stewart, Kurt Busch, Johnny Benson, and James Killen. Down in 10th, along with the other fantasy driver that I still have not looked up the name of. I I could not care less. 
Sterling Marlin's not in the 40. I don't care. I hate it. I wanted Sterling to win a championship. I'm still mad. Still salty. I'm not going to say another nice thing about a damn driver ever. Chad Chapman, DNS. Tony Stewart, also DNS. Robbie Gordon, Johnny Benson, DNS. Why can't you just be consistent, please, Tony? I want you to be consistent when a championship. Okay. Harvick finally breaks through. Led a lot of laps. Eli Gold finishes second again. He did that last episode. Bobby Labonte in third. Ricky fucking Craven with a top five. Matt Kenseth with a top five. Dale Jr., Michael Waltrip, Ryan Newman, Coy Gibbs, Steve Park, your top ten. Hell yeah, Ricky Craven. You just need to do four spots better, buddy. 2.1 second margin of victory. Jimmy Johnson, DNFs. Ha, Craven DNFs too. Damn it. Damn it, man. Uh, Coy Gibbs, also DNFs. Hate to see it. Would love to see Coy Gibbs win a race. Matt Kenseth wins at Bristol. I also just realized it goes Darlington, Bristol at the beginning of the season, and then it goes Bristol, Darlington at the end of the season. I like that scheduling. Uh, Kenseth wins. Jeff Burton, again, short track master leading so many laps at a short track. Here in Martinsville, he just leads a million of them. Tony Stewart rebounds to third. Dale Jr. in fourth, Kurt Busch with a top five, Harvick in sixth, Bobby Labonte, Ashton Lewis Jr., Johnny Sauter, I really need to look this guy's name up, Moore, Finn tenth, Ryan Newman in 11th. It's starting to shape up. The season's starting to take shape. Championship, um, championship battle starting to take shape. There we go. I'm struggling. It's so weird that there's only 41 spots. So strange. Harvick, your points leader. Uh, I dropped my controller trying to break my pop tart in half. Harvick, your points leader. Bobby Labonte uh, coming off his championship season. No hangover. He is second. Dale Jr., Matt Kenseth, third and fourth, tied at 25 points. And then a long way back to Jeff Burton. What the fuck Ryan Newman doing up here? Sir, you can't park there. Um, good lord. He is one race is very spaced out. How are you doing it? 8.4 average finish. That's uh, sixth place. That's okay. Kurt Busch in seventh. One point behind uh, Ryan Newman. Tony Stewart's DNF killing him. He'd be 50 points back-ish. So he'd be fifth, actually, without the DNF. Which, again, stinks this early in the season. Michael Waltrip's top 10 in points. Who let you in here? I know it's early, but okay, sure, whatever. I'm down for it. It's fine. Nobody DNFs. 7.9 second margin of victory. On the bright side, we will have our best average career starting position. That's cool. Um, it's so dumb. I'm so stupid. Leave me alone. Tony Stewart wins at Martinsville. Leads 165 laps. Harvick finishes in second. Matt Kenseth, Kurt Busch, Jeff Burton, your top five. Bobby Labonte, Jimmy Johnson, Johnny Benson, Jerry Nadeau, Ryan Newman. I almost said Ryan Blaney. Ryan Newman finishes in 10. How about Tony Stewart? Bouncing back. Good for you, Smoke. Good for you. There's DNFs. It's Harrison Burton, Jerry Nadeau, a fantasy driver, and us. We made it one lap. I'm very proud. 3.4 second margin of victory. Bobby Labonte. Leads 60 laps en route to the win. Johnny Sauter robbed. He finishes second. Matt Kenseth finishes third. Harvick in fourth. Eli Gold in fifth. Tony Stewart, Dale Jr., Kurt Busch. Ricky Craven with a top 10. And Jimmy Johnson with a top 10 also. Go away, please. Bobby, please. Just go away. Go away. Let the kids play. Dale Jr., snake bitten at Texas. DNF. I wish Tony Stewart and Harrison Burton would have switched positions. Then we would have had 22, 21, 20. Would have been much more satisfying. 12 second margin of victory. Kenseth dominates. No, not really. Dominates the late stages of the race, I guess. Led 79 laps. Jeff Burton finishes second. 
Yeah, okay. Dale Jr. led the most laps at DNF. Johnny Sauter and Jimmy Johnson, third and fourth. Bobby Labonte in fifth. Daryl Wolf in sixth. Robbie Gordon in seventh. What the fuck? Michael Waltrip in eighth. Kurt Busch, Ryan Newman. Where is Harvick? What are you doing? Your teammates outran you. Get it together, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what to, Like, my mind is blank at the moment. Great. This is going to be crazy, isn't it? Viva Las Vegas, baby. Eight tenths of a second, the margin of victory. Thank God Shane Hall DNF'd. Kurt Busch DNF'd, too. It's just not meant to be. I'm sorry, Kurt. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ryan Newman wins. He dominates. He didn't just win. He dominated. 143 laps led. Hell yeah. Kenseth finishes in second. Sauter, Jamie McMurray, and Tony Stewart, the rest of the top five. Love to see J-Mac up here. Rick Edwards, Jeff Burton, Jerry Nadu, Bobby Labonte, Dale Earnhardt Jr., your top ten. I need another J-Mac win before this thing's done. I need it. There's only one DNF we can't see. It's Harrison Burton, because of course it is. Johnny Sauter, DNFs. 3.2 second margin of victory. Oh my god. It's just like when Sterling Marlin drove. Jeff Burton. What? Stop. Stop doing that. You can't. You can't start 31st, lead 249 of 250 laps. Uh, I'm going to have to go learn this guy's name. Moore in the 40 car. Finishes second. Tony Stewart, Matt Kenseth, Steve Park, your top five. Kurt Busch, Chad Chaffin, Dale Jr., Sasha Soares. Okay, Tim Sauter, whatever. I say that it's like when Sterling drove the, the 40 because him and Jeff Burton... Every time Jeff Burton won, it was always Sterling in second, I feel like. Like, for the longest time. Or it'd be flipped around the other way. When it wasn't, you know, Dale Jarrett and Jeff Gordon winning races. Standings check. We're only 40, uh, 39 points behind Bill Sanders. I keep wanting to say Bernie Sanders, and somebody's going to freak out because I'm getting political. I don't. I could care less about politics. What in the fuck? Where did you come from? You have won two races. I'll give you that. You, Oh, my God. You have an average finish of 3.2. Harvick, you finished second a bunch of times. What happened? Six top five, seven top tens. Not not that bad. Where's Junior? Yeah, you're fucked. Um, this season has gotten out of hand quick. Kenseth's running away with it. Like, quietly. Dale Jr. has one win. You need to kick it up. You need... 13 more, buddy. Come on. 9.4 average finish. That's awful. Terrible for a four-time champion. One second margin of victory in the Pontiac Excitement 400. Jay Sauter DNF'd. So did Daryl Wolf and Matt Kenseth. Harvick Wit. Why did I say that like that? Matt Kenseth DNF'd. The points leader. DNF's. Harvick wins. I did that. Wow, that was... E, yikes. Bobby Labonte finishes in second. However, Dale Jr. leads the most laps and finishes third. Johnny Sauter, Tony Stewart, your top five. Tony, not the highest finishing Pontiac. Bobby Labonte is. Jeremy Mayfield, Ashton Lewis Jr., Dan Pardis, Rick Edwards, Jeff Burton, your top ten. So, Harvick might have just put himself back in it. Bobby Labonte definitely did. Um... Gosh, tough break for Kenseth as we head to the Coke 600, where he actually won last year, so this is a great transition. Um, Kenseth stopped Jail Jr.'s reign. Jr. did finish second last year, so... Uh, yeah, uh, this and it was a banger. I'm expecting another banger. I'm expecting maybe a shock winner, maybe Chad Chaffin. Who knows? Uh, but Coca-Cola 600 here in 2020. Let's see what happens. I'm in pain. It's not going to be Ricky Craven or Scott Wimmer. I am hurt. Severely hurt. 4.6 second margin of victory. Bobby fucking Labonte. When was the last time he won the Coke 600? 
It's been a minute. 2005 was the last time he won it. He wins by 4.6 seconds. Does not lead the most laps. Tony Stewart does. Finishing second. Kurt Busch, Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Burton, your top five. Johnny Sauter in sixth. Dale Jr., Matt Kenseth, Rick Edwards, Ashton Lewis Jr., Tony or Kevin Harvick down in 18th. It's it's looking like another Bobby season, boys. Oh no. Oh no. I don't want it. I want another champ different championship winner. I don't want anybody to go to back to back anymore. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, Dale Jr. Oh. <laughs> I thought Dale Jr. was the big DNF. No, Bobby Labonte, DNF, 4.6 second margin of victory. Jr. also DNFing. Okay. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Jeff Burton wins at Dover, leads 191 laps. Kurt Busch finished second. Tony Stewart, Ryan Newman, Matt Kenseth, they're all back on equal footing, I would think. Jimmy Johnson in sixth, Johnny Sauter in seventh, Michael Waltrip in eighth, Brian Vickers ninth, Kevin Harvick in a tenth position. Bobby Labonte has also won the last three crown jewel races. I'm just saying. Uh, it's pretty impressive. Jeff Burton. Gosh, man. Kurt Busch, good run. Tony Stewart, good run. Ryan Newman, great run. You qualified fourth and actually finished there. I'm impressed. And Harvick fucked it. Uh, DNF at Pocono. The bust. Vickers also DNFs. 2.7 second margin of victory. I just realized I forgot to put Biggest Disappointment on the NASCAR Thunder 03 Awards. It's going to be Vickers. Um, 2.7 second margin of victory. Matt Kenseth? Oh, 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 my God. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Tiny little eight pound, seven ounce baby Jesus. I hate Days of Thunder. All right, that's not Days of Thunder. That is Talladega Nights. I love Days of Thunder. I hate Talladega Nights. Absolutely hate it. Hot take, I can't stand it. Um, I know it's supposed to be satirical and shit. I still fucking hate it. Still hate it. And I watched it drunk. That's how you know you hate something. Uh, J-Mac wins. Leads 36 laps. My boy. Oh, my God. Um... Tony Stewart finished in second. Dale Jr. in third. Ricky Craven finished fourth. He led a bunch of laps. Johnny Benson finished fifth. Kenseth, Sauter, Newman, Michael Waltrip, Eli Gold, your top ten. Ricky Craven could have won this race, bro. He actually led the most laps. Ah, oh, Jamie McMurray, thank you. Thank you for listening to me. No, Johnny Benson DNFs at the Michigan night race. Oh, no. 5.3 second margin of victory. Tim Sauter also DNF'd. Kurt Busch wins at Michigan. Leads 82 laps. Jeff Burton finishes in second. Leads 94 laps. They led a lot of the laps. Johnny Benson led 23 before he DNF'd. Johnny Benson led 23 of 24 laps before DNF'ing. Gosh, man, no. Rick Edwards finishes third. Tony Stewart, Matt Kenseth, your top five. Jay Sauter, Ashton Lewis Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Daryl Wolf, Johnny Sauter in 10th. Jimmy Johnson started on the pole. These point standings are going to be a mess because I don't see Bobby Labonte anywhere either. Oh, my God. He's all the way down in 20th. Harvick down in 23rd. Jeez. Jeez, man. What a mess. Checking the points before Night Sonoma. Kenseth is your points leader. Jeff Burton, 51 points back. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Um, Stewart, uh, 161 back. But just about a full race behind. Kurt Busch, where the fuck? Dale, what are you doing? Dale Jr., where have you been? 10 and a half average finish. What is going on? Bro, you... He is going to win 99 races. I'm calling it right now. He's going to win three more races the rest of the year. He'll win nine next season. I'm calling it. I'm calling it now. Uh, Harvick down in sixth. Kurt Busch in fifth. There's still a lot to unpack the rest of the season. But, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Tony Stewart, not out of it. Not out of it. Kenseth DNF'd and still leads the points. Must have, he must have been a 
in front by a lot. Well, it doesn't fucking matter now. Kenza, DNF, 5.6 seconds is your gap. And Jeff Burton, oh my god. Jeff Burton stopped his brother's old car from winning. Kevin Harvick finished in third. Ryan Newman in fourth. Ashton Lewis Jr., Tony Stewart, Bobby Labonte, Dale Jr., Johnny Benson. I didn't look at 10th. It's Dan Pardis. I shouldn't have looked at 10th. Jeff Burton leads the points and dominates the race. That's crazy. That's crazy. That would have been shock winner right there. James Killen. Low-key, been really good in the 22 this year. Kind of surprising. Six-second margin of victory. More DNFs. Wimmer DNFs. Soares, Sauter, Robbie Gordon, Jeremy Mayfield, Jerry Nadeau. All DNFing. Tough scenes. Jeff Burton, back-to-back. Back to back. Leads the most laps. Harvick finishes second. Eli Gold, Killen, Bobby Labonte, your top five. J-Mac in sixth. Michael Waltrip, Matt Kenseth, Daryl Wolf, Ryan Newman, Ra Rick Edwards. It's a Jeff Burton season, isn't it? Where is Junior at? Junior needs to get it together, man. I need him to win 100 races. I do. I need it. The community needs it. Everybody needs it. Halfway point of the season, Chad Chaffin, DNF, Ricky Craven, DNFs, Kurt Busch, DNFs. Sad. I'm sad. Kenseth wins by 10, 11 seconds. Jesus. Tony Stewart finishes in second. Sasha, Bobby Labonte, Kevin Harvick, your top five. Michael Waltrip, Dan Pardis, Johnny Benson, Jeremy Mayfield, Ashton Lewis Jr., Dale Jr. just does not give a shit anymore. He's like, I'm old, I'm done, I'm washed up. Kenseth just keeps on winning, though. He does. Okay, Matt Kenseth is a machine. He is. He just is a machine. There's one DNF we can't see. One tenth of a second. The margin of victory at Daytona Beach. John Andretti's the DNF we couldn't see. He led laps. Why do you keep leading laps? I don't know. Bro, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Ryan Newman wins at Daytona Beach. We've had J-Mac, Ryan Newman. Now we just need Scott Wimmer, Ricky Craven, and Jimmy to win, and we'll be good in this season. Bobby Labonte finishes in second. Kenseth Stewart Burton, your Jeff Burton. Obviously, Ward's gone. Your top five. Dale Jr., Kevin Harvick, Jay Sauter, James Killen, and Johnny Benson. Your top 10. Ryan Newman, the Rocket Man. Shout out Elton John. Oh, it's good to see. It's good to see. 2.2 .2 second margin of victory. I forgot to throw in Chad Chaffin needs to win a race too. Dale Jr. DNFs again. Newman, <laughs> Newman also DNFs. Kenseth wins. Dominates. 124 laps led. That's the 10 bonus points, obviously. Tony Stewart, Kevin Harvick, Jimmy Johnson, Bobby Labonte, your top five. Kenseth on the warpath this year. Ryan Vickers in sixth. He's a bust. Rick Edwards in seventh. Kurt Busch, Tim Sauter, James Killen. Rick Edwards has more wins than Brian Vickers. Sasha Soares has more wins than Brian Vickers. Name somebody more disappointing than Brian Vickers in the simulation. Maybe Elliot Sadler. That's about it. But, yeah, what are you going to do? Standings time. Kenseth. Only by 22 points leads. It's a five-car race. Harvick, Tony Stewart, they're the dark horses. They're like on the brink of falling out of it. Jeff Burton, only 22 points back. Bobby Labonte, only 98 points back. We have three champs and two wannabe champs. All in it. Junior's 434 points back. Ain't doing shit. He is not doing shit. Uh, disappointing. Ryan Newman sixth in points with two wins this year. He won already? Huh. I did not realize that. I'm an idiot. Um, that's okay, though. That's okay, Ryan. Thank you for your contribution this season. Uh, Kurt Busch all the way down here in eighth. Johnny Sauter in ninth. I thought he was going to be a champ. Never going to happen. Jimmy Johnson, no wins. He won two last year. He's like, I'm good. Um, yeah, we have... This could be, I said last season could be the season. This season really could be. It really could be.
now that we're halfway through and it's this close between these five, it, it's got a chance. No Brickyard, Brickyard hype this time. Uh, Kenseth won it last year, six and a half second margin of victory. This is why I don't hype up the Brickyard. Jeff Burton wins for the first time at Indianapolis since 2014. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, led 81 laps. Gets the 10 or gets the five bonus points. Kenseth in second. Bobby Labonte, Ryan Newman, Tony Stewart. Your top five. Smith, sure. J Mac. Oh my God. <laughs> Finishes in seventh. Killin in eight. Eli Gold, Dan Pardis. We're missing somebody. We're missing Harvick. Why are you doing this shit, Kevin? Get it together. Get it together. Um. Ah, man, I don't know. Also, Jeff Burton breaks Bobby Labonte's streak of winning at Crown Jewels. First winner, not named Bobby Labonte or Matt Kenseth, since Tony Stewart won Darlington in 2018. Interesting. Interesting stuff. 3.9 second margin of victory. Look at all these DNFs. Steve Park, Coy Gibbs, J Mac, uh, Jay Sauter, and Shane Hall did not DNF, but they got outrun by a fantasy driver. Everybody point and laugh at him. Fucking idiots. Uh, Harvick. He bounces back after a rough week last week. Leads two thirds of the race this week. Something like that. Pretty close to two thirds of the race. Um, actually, yeah. 30, 60, 90. Yeah, that'd be two-thirds. Good job, math. Um, Harvick wins. Kind of, I mean, dominates. Yeah, dominates. Kurt Busch finishes second. Johnny Benson, Matt Kenseth, Jeff Burton, your top five. Tim Sauter, Jay Moore, Johnny Sauter, Ashton Lewis Jr., Rick Edwards, your top ten. Tony Stewart down in 11th after starting on the pole. Got jumped going into the first corner and didn't ever lead a lap. Um... Uh, how about Johnny Benson at the road course showing up big time, big time. Daryl Wolf DNFs at MIS, two, three second margin of victory, we'll call it. Um, <laughs> I didn't even know who to expect. Jeremy Mayfield wins at Michigan, leads a handful of laps. Harvick actually led the most laps. Uh, Jeff Burton, Bobby Labonte, Harvick. So Harvick, 10 bonus points. Puts him actually five points behind Jeff Burton for most points gained in the race. That's pretty cool. Michael Waltrip in fifth. Coy Gibbs, Eli Gold, Ryan Newman, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Jimmy Johnson. Dale Jr. still got speed, apparently, sitting on the pole, leading three laps, but can't do shit with it. Bristol night race. Matt Kenseth won it last year. Um... Yeah, that's that's all that's all I've got. Matt Kenseth won it last year. Um, Kurt Busch won it the year before. Jeff Burton went on to win the championship, even though I think I said that Kurt won it and then Matt won the championship. No, Matt Kenseth won the Daytona 500. I am just dumb. Um, Bristol has produced a lot lately. Maybe in the 2000 sim we'll make the Sharpie 500 the championship race. I don't know. Um, but let's see what happens here in 2020. Oh, God. Bobby Labonte, Kevin Harvick, DNF. Jimmy Johnson started on the pole, DNF. John Andretti probably led a bunch of laps, DNFs. No, he led one, though. That's, that's a lot for the 43 car. 1.2 second margin of victory. This race has shaken up the championship. Crystal, baby. Hello, Dale Jr. Welcome back to victory lane. Uh, Junebug wins the Bristol Night Race for the first time in a long time. Holy shit. He hasn't won it since 2011. I haven't got to use my favorite clip ever since 2011. Come on. Um, Matt Kenseth finishes in second. Kurt Busch, Jeff Burton, Eli Gold, your top five. Daryl Wolf, Johnny Sauter, Johnny Benson, Ryan Newman, Tony Stewart, your top ten. We're going to wait until after Darlington to check the points. I want to see him so bad. I want to see him so bad after the DNFs. Kenseth probably the points leader, if I had to guess. Or Jeff Burton. I have no fucking idea. Well, Jamie McMurray, not going to win his first career. Darlington, uh, Jesus, Southern 500. Neither is Brian Vickers. 
I'm so glad I didn't put him in the 24. 3.8 second margin of victory at the Southern 500. Jeff Burton. Jeff Burton wins the Southern 500 <coughs> for the first time in a while. Again, it's another guy that... God dang, dude, where is he at? This And it's not even scrolling. It's looking at my spreadsheet I have. He hasn't won it since 2006. Holy shit. That's a long time. Uh, Dale Jr. finishes in second. That would have been... If Jr. would have won it, it would have been the first time since 2004 that he won it. Couldn't quite get it done. Jeff Burton leads an obscene amount of laps and wins. Of course he does. Bobby Labonte finishes third. Kurt Busch, Tony Stewart, your top five. Johnny Sauter, one-time Southern 500 winner. Matt Kenseth in seventh. Sasha. Rick Edwards. Jeremy Mayfield, your top ten. And Scott Wimmer with an 11th, right behind his pseudo-teammates. It's time to check the points. And I'm just going to cut right to it, honestly. I'm just going to... I'm going to flip it. It's going to be at the top. You're going to see it. I'm going to talk about it. We got to know. All right. It is a two-car race. The DNF, I mean, Harvick was already out of it, it looks like. Tony Stewart is out of it, even though he hasn't really DNF'd. Uh, Bobby Labonte is out of it with the DNF. It's Kenseth and Burton, two Roush drivers dueling. Kenseth up to 85 wins. What's Junior at? 88. Okay. Jeff Burton, up to 72 wins. He has seven wins this year. Jesus Christ. I didn't even notice. Um, he is four away from tying Dale Sr. How old would he be in 1967? He'd be in the booth. He'd be 50 in 2017. So he is 53. God bless, man. He's 53 years old doing this. Crazy stuff. Uh, Bobby Labonte... Three wins, nine average finish. He's been good this season, but Jeff Burton, top of the class, really. Oh, the game thought really hard to make. Uh, Steve Park, DNF, I guess. I don't know. 2.1 second margin of victory. I don't know who it's going to be. I don't know. Probably Jeff Burton. Or Matt Kenseth. That was my second guess. Kenseth dominates the field. This is crazy. Kenseth wins. Bobby Labonte finishes second. Jeff Burton in third. Tony Stewart in fourth. John Andretti in fifth. In a dodge, by the way. Eli Golden sixth. Kurt Busch in seventh. Michael Waltrip is the highest finishing Chevrolet in the Monte Carlo 400. You gotta be shitting me. Dale Jr. in ninth. Johnny Sauter in tenth. Oh my god. Okay. Um, lots of DNFs. 0.051 margin of victory. Kevin Harvick's one of the DNFs. Kenseth's one of the DNFs. Oh, no. That's a championship killer right there. Championship killer. Tony Stewart outduels Kurt Busch for the win. Not by much. Kurt Busch, a part of an iconic photo finish now. I think. I think he might be a part of a couple, actually. Um, Dale Jr. finishes third. Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Burton, your top five. Johnny Benson, Johnny Sauter, Bobby Labonte, Ryan Newman, and Ricky Craven with a top ten. Hell yes. Also, Jimmy, Jeff, Johnny, Johnny. All the J's. It's so funny when it's a bunch of letters in a row and it just happens to be a lot of J's. There's a lot of J's in the, in the Cup Series at the moment. Two tenths of a second. Dale Jr. DNF'd. Hate to see it. Bobby Labonte DNF'd. He was pretty well out of... He might have got well... If I can't remember who was leading the points. If it was Kenseth or Burton. It doesn't matter. Bobby Labonte. Out of it. Tony Stewart gets his get back. No. Kurt Busch finished second in the photo finish at New Hampshire. So Tony Stewart goes back to back. Kurt Busch finishes second for the second straight week. Harvick in third. Jimmy Johnson in fourth. Matt Kenseth, Jeff Burton, Ryan Newman, Ricky Craven, Eli Gold, Johnny Benson, your top 10. See, this is how bad my memory is. I can't even remember what happened in the race before, and it was literally like 30 seconds ago. That's terrible. 5.3 second margin of victory at Kansas. 
Oh my god, Jeff Burton DNF'd as we were getting ready to check the points. He's probably still the points leader, so it's okay. Dale Jr. wins at Kansas. Leads 264 laps. Sure thing. Bobby Labonte in second. Harvick, Sauter, Johnny Benson. Johnny Sauter, Johnny Benson. Fourth and fifth. Killen in sixth. Kurt Busch in seventh. Ryan Newman, Eli Gold, Michael Waltrip, your top ten. Kenseth down in 11th. What the fuck is going on? I'm checking him a race early. I don't give a shit. Uh, Jeff Burton had a massive points lead. He's still your points leader by 102 points over Kenseth. 183 over Stewart. Uh, Dale Jr. is 500 points back. It's not going to happen. However, he is going to win four races this year. I'm calling it now. Um, he's going to win four races. He's going to win nine next year, win the championship, and end up at 99 wins. And I'm going to laugh if all that ends up being right. Um... Yeah, I mean, Tony Stewart not completely out of it. If Jeff Burton DNFs again, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a battle. Four tenths of a second, the margin of victory. Shane Hall DNFs. Fuck you, Shane Hall. Uh, Steve Park and Ricky Craven also DNF. I think Steve Park would be in the running for most disappointing. I figured he would win a race, at, at, at least one in the simulation. Tony Stewart wins at Talladega. Leads 11 laps and wins. Tim Sauter comes home in second. Dale Jr., Kurt Busch, John Andretti, your top five. Coy Gibbs in sixth. Dan Pardis, Kevin Harvick, Jeff Burton in ninth. Killen in tenth. Kenseth all the way down in 14th. And Tony Stewart won, eh? Huh. Interesting. Uh, Jeff Burton leads the most laps, but Tony Stewart gains 40 points. He's almost only a full race back. Interesting. Okay. All right. Scott Wimmer DNFs after starting outside pole. Sad. Andretti, Edwards, Park, all DNF. Jamie McMurray DNFs breaking everybody's heart. Um, I'm pretty sure he's tied for the Colt leader lead right now i think uh, 7.6 second margin of victory dale jr there it is there's number four. <laughs> oh gosh dale jr dominates leads the most laughs kevin harvick finishes in second ryan newman kurt bush jeff burton robbie gordon johnny Sauter, johnny benson ricky craven bobby labani ah uh, tony stewart in 11th i don't know why i gave anybody hope and yeah ken's at the nf so back to a big lead with Tony Stewart in second now for Jeff Burton. Oh my god, Kenseth falling off the face of the earth, DNFing. Dale Jr. also DNFs. 2.8 second margin of victory. Show me Jeff Burton domination. No. Um. Kurt Busch wins. Kurt Busch dominates. Michael Waltrip finished second. And Mikey's another guy. Has not won a race in the simulation. Interesting. Ryan Newman finishes in third. Jimmy Johnson finishes fourth. Kevin Harvick in fifth. Tony Stewart in sixth. Robbie Gordon, Dan Pardis, Johnny Sauter, Rick Edwards. Chad Chaffin in 11th. Jeff Burton down in 13th. Tony's trying. Tony B. Trying. 150 to 129. So 20 points again. Puts him about a full race back. He's not out of it. He is clawing his way into this thing. It's just, it might be too late. Two second margin of victory at the Rock. There's one spot I can't see. After what I just said, if it's who I think it is, I won't be surprised. No, it's Dale Jr. And Matt Kenseth led the most laps. Okay. Okay. Tony Stewart wins. He gains 10 points on Jeff Burton. Jimmy Johnson finishes second, Jeff Burton in third. This Smith guy started on the pole, finished fourth. Rick Edwards finishes fifth. Johnny Benson, Kurt Busch, Bobby Labonte, Kevin Harvick, Tim Sauter, your top 10.
It, I'm gonna check the points. I'm gonna check the points. Because we need to know. There is three races left. That is why I'm doing this. If something happens, I need to know if I need to be excited or not. Tony Stewart is less than a race back at Jeff Burton. What are the odds that the 20... Not the 20, but Tony Stewart. What are the odds that Tony Stewart would be chasing down the 99 in the last five races of the season? Never seen that one happen before. God damn it it's over tony St it's not over <laughs> it's not tony stewart loses nine points both of them dnf'd oh my god how many fucking people didn't finish the race a lot of them show me chad chaffin show me chad chaffin no kenseth wins leads 235 laps Kurt Busch, Johnny Sauter, Dale Jr., Ashton Lewis Jr., your top five. Jay Mack in sixth. Kevin Harvick, Jimmy Johnson, Eli Gold, Brian Vickers, Michael Waltrip, your top 11. I wanted it so bad. I'm trying to speak it into, his, into existence as much as I can. 3.2 seconds margin of victory. I don't believe it was possible. We're going to go check the standings again. It should put him, it should put Tony at 154, but, 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 but. That might be the only chance he'd have got for Jeff Burton to DNF, which hurts. Uh -huh. As surmised, Tony Stewart, 154 back at Jeff Burton. Still only a full race. He could win, and Jeff Burton could finish poorly. Jeff Burton can clinch the championship this week. If he beats him at all. So, let's go see. Homestead. Gotta be magic for Tony Stewart here. 2.64 second margin of victory. Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr. DNF. Nobody else DNFs. Tony Stewart has to finish ahead of Jeff Burton or it's over. He didn't do it. Jeff Burton finishes second, leads laps, clinches. The 2020 championship at 745 years old. Rick Edwards wins the race. This is how 2016 should have ended for some people. Or not 2016. Well, 2016 too. Carl Edwards talking about the 99. Uh, 2011. Tony Stewart won the championship. People not happy. Uh, Johnny Sauter finished fourth. Ryan Newman in fifth. Harvick, Mayfield, Eli Gold. Moore and Andretti, your top 10. Johnny Benson in 11th. That's heartbreaking. I was hoping Tony Stewart would keep it alive for one more race. He just couldn't do it. Just couldn't quite do it. Ah, oh, man. What an effort, though. What an effort. Jay Sauter sits on the pole at Atlanta and DNFs. Johnny Benson also DNFs. Kevin Harvick DNFs. 13.4 second margin of victory. Oh, <laughs> He made me look like a liar. Dale Jr. wins, dominates, obliterates at Atlanta. Jeff Burton finishes second. Tony Stewart in third. Bobby Labonte, Matt Kenseth, Tim Sauter, Coy Gibbs, Sasha Soares, Daryl Wolf, Johnny Sauter, your top ten. Man. Man, oh man, oh man. Dale Jr. wins his fifth race of the year. Ends at 91, I think. He can win nine. He can win nine next year and win the championship and win a hundred races. I don't know. Tony Stewart, what an effort! Big props to Tony. He's gonna be the thumbnail of this one. Ah oh, man, I mean that the the end of that season was nuts. I'm I'm uh, yeah yeah. It was worth the last couple seasons not being close. It's not gonna look as close as and it really wasn't all that close. It was still a full race like first to last point spread <clears throat> but tony stewart hell of an effort five wins 22 top fives and 27 top tens i think yeah i mean career highs how about it for smoke 27 top tens not a career high but the uh 22 top fives is 8.6 average finish that's a championship caliber season at this point um We've seen some really poor average finishes from champions. Jeff Burton wins seven races. 
22 top fives to 28 top tens, 8.1 average finish. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Smoke having the 8.6. It could win him a championship, but Jeff Burton, a two-time champ. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Um, Jay Sauter, the pole award winner, sure. Jeff Burton wins seven races. Kenseth wins six. Tony Stewart Dale Jr. with five. Junior ends at 91. He could win nine races next year and hit 100. He could win eight and hit 99. I don't know what he's going to do. Bobby Labonte with three. Harvick with three. Newman, Kurt Busch with two. J-Mac, Jeremy Mayfield, Rick Edwards all with one. Jamie McMurray, you are a star, my friend. Forever. First win since 2014. I called it, too, which is awesome. I love it. Uh, Tony Stewart actually tied for the most top fives and was one short of top tens. One le If he doesn't DNF one time, I mean, he finishes like 14 points back probably. Something. Maybe even wins if he doesn't DNF if it's a race Jeff Burton did poorly in. I don't know. Uh, but what a season for these two. They were fantastic. I'm beyond thrilled. Jeff Burton again leads 2,000 laps. Or almost 2,500 laps. Um... Pole award, obviously, Jay Sauter. Bobby Labonte won two Noble Fives. Jeff Burton won the other one. Ford, oh my god. Ford wins the Manufacturer Championship. Pontiac finishes second. Incredible. Jeff Burton, we know, is the lap champion. Um, I'm going to do Silly Season. I'm not going to mess with it any. However it ends, it ends. So I will do Silly Season. I will talk about it. And that will be the episode. And we're going to be down to 39 drivers next season. Because nobody else retired other than fantasy drivers. Thank you guys. I think. I don't really know. I don't know. But that has been 2020. The finale goes live tomorrow after the Cup Series race. I will be here. I will be watching along with everybody that decides to show up. Thank you guys so much for the support. 200 subscribers yesterday. Incredible. Um... You guys are fantastic. Thank you again. Thank you for all the comments and the congratulations. 300 next, and then 500, and then we're going to just keep going from there. Um, but yeah, 2021, tomorrow. I might cry while I'm recording it. I don't know. <laughs> I woke up very emotional this morning knowing that I was going to record these two episodes. I can't imagine waking up tomorrow and recording that one. Um but yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, crush the like button, hit subscribe, share it with a friend, comment something. Um, yeah, what a season. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we'll see you tomorrow for the premiere of, or the premiere of the finale of 20 years simulating NASCAR Thunder 2003. <laughs>